Blizzard has revealed a bunch of new information about how gearing is changing in sh Season 4 of Shadowlands, including purchasable gear from vendors. In this video, I'm going to go over all of these changes. Everyone, Voodoo here. So as I mentioned in the intro, uh, a bunch of new changes are coming in uh, Shadowlands Season 4 for gearing. Um, it's kind of supposed to be an experimental season, uh, right? Like what they're doing with raids and M+. Um, to kind of see how things work and see how um, different seasons could be moving forward into Dragonlands. Now, they've mentioned that a lot of this stuff is happening because Season 4 is meant to be so short. But uh, if things are received well, then uh, definitely we could see some of these things being iterated on and being kept um, into uh, Dragonflight. So before we start, I just want to say uh, thanks for watching the videos. Um, if you're watching and you haven't subscribed yet, uh, please subscribe. I'll be covering all the 9.2.5 and Dragonflight news. Um, and I really appreciate all the support. So anyways... Um, a quick overview, uh, there's two new fundamental changes coming to gearing in Season 4, um, both of these relating to raids, uh, primarily, um, M+, plus and PvP acquisition isn't changing that much, however, you know, um, Valor will be uncapped, and Conquest will be uncapped in Season 4, so there's that. Um, and those two things are um, the introduction of a three-part quest line, which whenever you complete each part of the quest, you get a little coin that you can use to spend um, at a vendor for a certain piece of item, which I'll cover. Another one are um, heroic and mythic, uh, basically gear upgrade items that you get from killing bosses. So the three-part quest line um, essentially is broken down into um, 30 faded boss kills is the first part, then 20 faded boss kills, then 10 faded boss kills. So basically, you go into a raid, um, let's say it's Sanctum Domination for the week, and that's the week that the faded affix is, is live on. You kill 10 bosses, you get um, a third of the way through your um your quest um now these are unique bosses so if you kill um if you clear the raid on normal you can't go into heroic and clear it again and get more progress or go into lfr and clear it again and get more progress that won't work so basically you're gonna have to um do a full weekly cycle uh for the first one and then you need to do two weeks second one and just a week for the last one now thankfully uh, lfr will be open so if your raid is unable to kill certain bosses on um the week for that you need um, you're able to be going into LFR and killing those bosses and getting your quest progress. Now, when you finish this, what you get is a little coin. You get a small coin uh, called a Puzzling Cartel Dinar. And there are vendors in Oribos that sell um, trinkets and weapons from uh, the raids, the three raids, um, for one dinar each, right? So, effectively, what that means is that you're able to buy three items from those vendors, right? Because you get one coin each from each of the, the three quest lines, and then that's the only source for them. So you get three items, um, three coins. Uh, you'll take about six weeks to get all those coins, and you go to the vendor once you get a coin, and you, you buy the item. Now, this item comes at a normal item level, which uh, is bad, but uh, there are things to fix that, which I'll touch on. And the only thing that they sell, like I said, are trinkets and weapons. And so what Blizzard kind of want to do with that is there's a lot of items like Old Warrior Soul or Sylvanas Daggers or Gavel from um, the Jailer or, I don't know, like Zymox Trinket. There's a bunch of stuff that's super cool and super unique um, and that brings a lot of power gain to um, classes, but oftentimes it's hard to get, right? So if you don't get that item uh, fast enough, you kind of have a, a disadvantage relative to other people or like in the existence like you kind of need old warrior soul to play a bunch of class at the highest level or you need rogue daggers to play rogue at the highest level that kind of thing this is kind of a way to alleviate it i mean i think it's pretty good i like that it's limited right i mean i don't think gearing should just be go to a vendor buy my gear and boom uh i'm, I'm done because you know it's an mmo uh part of that is just grinding for your gear so i think this is this is a, a good kind of midway ground um the one thing that kind of fucks over people who are multi-spec, right? So let's say I'm, I'm on my druid, right? I play balance primarily. I go buy a weapon. I go buy some trinkets. Um, and then I can't, you know, spec into feral or spec into tank. And I don't really think there's a good way around that, right? So I thought, like, what if they let you get, like, an off-spec item? But then, you know, um, you could just get a bunch of trinkets or you could just get a bunch of weapons. It'd be a little weird. Um, other important thing, you can't buy... Uh, like belts or like anything like that right that's only unique items uh just so that you can't just go and uh instantly gear up because generally those those items are pretty boring so you get three and they come at normal now uh the issue with them coming at normal is that you obviously can't use them to get higher upgraded things um but they're also getting a benefit a fix for that so 
there are items that can be um, redeemed. I don't, uh, it's a vendor, I believe. I'm not sure. There's like these shards that drop from bosses on heroic and mythic difficulty uh, while the faded affix is up. And once you have 20 of those shards, so 20 heroic shards or 20 mythic shards, you can upgrade an item from any item level to the um, I, the level of the shard you got. So you can upgrade like an LFR normal to heroic, or you can upgrade LFR normal heroic to mythic. Now you get these shards. Uh, each shard drops from a boss. It's 100% chance, right? So you kill heroic vigilant guardian, you get a heroic shard. You kill mythic shriek wing, you get a mythic shard. That kind of thing. Uh, currently 100%. And then every 20 shards you have, um, you get this upgrade item that can upgrade any item to that uh, eye level threshold. So you can upgrade any, you know, LFR or Mythic. And this is really going to be very important when combined with your uh, Dinar pieces. So let's say, like, I could go buy two Vein Rippers and I could upgrade them all the way to Mythic or Heroic or whatever um, without even ever needing to loot one myself. So this, I think this is actually a really big, big deal, right? Because you're able to loot an item on a lower difficulty or buy the item with your dinar um, and then get that all the way upgraded to your maximum difficulty that, so it's actually usable and with you for the rest of the expansion um, because it's the final patch, right? And you get three pieces, so it's not like everything is like this, but you can buy your most important pieces. Like you can buy your double vein ripper and your Zymox trinket or you can buy your uh, Arbiter gavel, your uh, DK ring, and your... I don't know, what else is good for them? Uh... I don't know, old, old Warrior Soul. There you go. Right? So this kind of thing is super kind of cool and important that um, to allow people to kind of target those items that are hard to get, especially because, you know, um, since we're rotating through all three raids, you you only get a chance to kill, like, the Jailer once every three weeks, right? So I think this is going to be this is a great way of kind of reining in the RNG and itemization while still keeping kind of that flavor of uh, MMO and RPG elements there. I'm really hoping they iterate on this and bring it forward into Dragonflight, at least in some capacity, because I think that, that this is actually going to be a really cool system. Um, nothing is kind of um, set in stone yet, right? So everything is going to... Um, subject to change, it's all on PTR, but uh, hopefully... This is like a really good sign of things to come, and something like this is going to change um, whatever happens in um, Dragonflight. So yeah, that's uh, that's all I have today. Uh, thank you guys for watching the video. Um, thanks for you know sticking around and showing support, and make sure to subscribe and like the video if you uh, liked it. And I'll be having more um, news coverage and wild WoW videos coming in the future. Uh, so thanks guys.